Material removal rate. It's the amount of material that's removed per minute. And when you look at CNC machining, you look at production machining, this is what matters. We look at the part, we look at the total runtime, and the majority of that runtime in most cases is roughing all the material down so you can get to the surfaces that will be later finished. Now, when it comes to finishing the part, we often have to slow down, kiss that baby right into tolerance so it meets the surface finish requirements to the print. Now, as a manufacturer, as a shop owner, competing against other companies, when I actually quote a job, I look at where is the most time being spent? And it's during the roughing cycles. I'm gonna analyze all of it. I'm gonna look at how much roughing time I have, how long it's gonna finish, what about the setup? I'm gonna look at the entire package. And when I look at the roughing, I'm gonna calculate the MRR based on the tool and the speeds that I'm gonna go so that my quote will be very accurate. If somebody else is bidding on it and they look at it and they say, it's gonna take 20 minutes to rough the part and I look at it and I'm like, I'm actually using the Core 5, I'm running at 400 inches a minute, I have a depth of two inches, my radio is 100 thousandths, I'm gonna look at the MRR that that produces, look at the amount of material removed, and I'm gonna say, it'll actually take 10 minutes because I have a superior process in place to remove that material. Then I'm gonna get that bid because my cost is lower than the competition. So now that we know why the material removal rate is so important. I'm gonna show you how to calculate it. So first, we'll draw the tool. That's an end mill. Material, boom. So you got the material, you got the tool. You have the depth of cut is two inches. And then you have the width of cut, 0.100, thousand. So you're two inches deep, you're 100 thousandths in. And since we're running in aluminum, we're running the core five at 400 inches a minute. So we're gonna say 400 inches a minute, boom, inches per minute. And that's the ingredients that you need to calculate your MRR. So we're simply gonna go 0.1, and we'll say W-O-C, width of cut, times the depth of cut, two point D-O-C, times 400 inches per minute, equals 80, and we say cubes, so we'll just say cubes. And that's cubic inches per minute. So that's 80 cubic inches per minute of material that you remove by going 400 inches a minute with a two inch depth of cut, a small radial at 0.1, and that's cooking. So at the end of the day, when you're looking at tools, and you're testing tools and you're looking at what they're capable of. When you're looking at your spindle load, your machine, your horsepower, your torque, your fixturing, when you're looking at all of the variables together, the ingredients for success, your goal is to get your cubes as high as possible so your company can make a great profit and lower manufacturing costs Boom, MRR, the most important measurement in CNC machining. I love you guys, I love this trade. If you love the videos, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put your comments down below.